So we are slowly but surely entering into the season of spring and summer, which happens to be my favorite season. This is where everybody is outside. We're in them streets, taking flights, taking trips. We're colorful, we're bold. Because we're entering into that energy, honey, it's time to prepare. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some shoes or sandals, flats specifically, that I've purchased for my recent trips that I have taken. All of these shoes, I'm pretty sure I got in a size 10 or 11. I real, 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 real. So I've been looking for a set of lime green shoes. And I finally found some. These are a size 43. I'm not gonna lie, when I initially looked at the shoes, I was like, this is giving a 999 stuff. If you know, you know, we had one locally where you go in there and they have different little sandals and shoes, heels, like wherever I had anything going on that I needed to dress up for, that's what my grandma was pulling up to for us to be able to get some shoes. I'm pretty sure I seen some shoes like this. Don't y'all like the geometric print or whatever this is in here called, child, that it has going on? Like, it may not be for everybody, but I think it's cute. My feet has absolutely nam bit of arch. God skipped right on over me when he was talking about arches. I need the type of shoe that will expand because it has this in here type of setup. It expands out when you put your feet in it. Do you see? You see? A wide foot person will appreciate a shoe like this. I got these in here shoes. Now, this is giving more of like a fall winter vibe, that print, right? But then again, it, you can definitely take it into spring and summer as well. Get into the colors. The colors are there. I got the matching hat for these as well as the matching purse for these. And they are really comfortable, flat, and cute. I'm well aware that if you have no art, you should be wearing shoes that give you a little bit more support. But honey, tell me where I can find some sandals that give you some support besides Dr. Shoes. And, and I don't want to walk around looking like I'm 80. With time, these are those type of shoes that could do a little stinging at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how that go when that... When there ain't no cushion or anything and you do too much walking in them, that, yeah. But for the most part, they'll get the job done. And I got those in a size 43 as well. Let's move on along to these beauties here. Now, I was not expecting this Petmo Bismol pink. When I pulled them out the pack, I really thought it was going to be more of a chill pink. That don't even damn exist. Chill pink. I'm making up stuff. I didn't think it was going to be like this. Okay. But... Nevertheless, this has a little bit more cushion. Girl, touch right here. Feel it. Push it. Push it. Push it real good. Ooh, baby, baby. I don't know how you feel about in between the toes because this can be a little aggy. It depends on how you feel about this, but I love these so much that I got these in a color red also. I don't know what, what the hell they at. I was looking for them and I couldn't find them, so they probably still in the suitcase somewhere. I know I can't be the only one who don't really unpack when they come home. You literally leave most of your stuff in the bag until the next trip. I think that these are really, really cute, really comfy, and they come in all types of colors. It's very much giving a neon. Like when, when I pull up in this, y'all gonna see me. They are the perfect color for spring and summer. Moving right along to these. Now, if you watched a old haul of mine, you would have seen these before I got them in a color gold. Well, girl, this time around, I decided to get them in a color green as well as a black. Because one thing about me, if I like something, it's comfortable and it fits my big, wide, flat feet. And you know that's hard to come by? Who not getting them in all colors? I feel like the design on the front of them can kind of like amp up a look. It can kind of take it up. So it's, this is giving more of like a dressier style. So you can even wear these like at dinner time. They are really plus size wide foot friendly. They are really, really wide. And I love how it even has the square here at the toe. I got these in a size 42 and they run kind of big. Let's get on to these pair here, which are my the white ones. I like these because it has the little splash of gold. And my accessories are typically gold. I'm a gold girl. Silver well. They can come off a little old-fashioned like initially, but once you put them on and you get them toes done, girl, cute. Cute. The design, the cutouts, it's different, right? These are a little slimmer though, as you can tell if you're looking. 
than a lot of the other shoes. A lot of the other shoes were way wider, more wide foot friendly. If you're in between, you can get away with this, but I don't want your foot spilling all over on the side. Your feet is way wider than mine. You might want to pass these on up. They got other white ones on there though. Got these to match some earrings that I got that's very similar to this particular print that dangles and hangs. <laughs> it's like that straw material. It's giving very much beach vibes. You know, beachy vibes is like the straw, that anchor, that seashell type of vibes when you walk in the bathroom. Like it's, it's giving that. You see the, 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 the straw? Straw hat, straw bag, straw this, straw that, and the straw shoes. I don't want the hell out of these. These starting to bend backwards. Try it. You see it? Well, I don't know where they going, but they damn sure trying to go somewhere. With that material, that's that strawness, it makes it more comfortable. I got another pair, a yellow pair that's quite similar to those, um, minus the strawness. French, look like somebody doing some arts and crafts, somebody child and got a hold of some scissors. I think I, I like that because to me, that type of feel, that fringy look, gives summer. It screams spring. It screams vacation. This is that Big Bird yellow right here. Yeah, we're going to call these Big Bird. These I found to be really, really cute. Oh, girl, not with the toe prints. Not the toe prints. Now, first off, it has that, what is that? Like a little silky-like vibe, like that material rub right there. You feel that? It's like a little silky. I don't know. My feet must have got the sweat in and, and But who the hell gonna see? If you worry about toe prints and things like that, go, you ought to be. Yeah. Now, these also, you get out of line, you can poke up in the eye. You know, because it's real, real pointy at the toe. It's not for everybody. Some people don't like this shape. It's giving cone head. You see that? I, I want to watch the cone head movie. I love this whole razzle dazzle. It's giving Hawaii. Mardi Gras, honey. Throw me a set of beads, please. This, this is definitely vacation. It's fun. It's flirty. Um, the orange, honey. Okay. With the chocolate is everything. Um, these are also more slimmer down this way. A little bit more wider up here. So it, it got some girth. If you got some girth, the top portion of your feet, then that would do some good. But if it carries all the way down and you might have some spillage because of how skinny they made this in here. All right, so here's my next ones. Why are you looking at me like that? These are definitely not for everybody. I found them to be cute. Now, mind you now, you're going to have to have some control over the toes or you might get one caught up in the midst of here, a pinky sliding off on the side here, okay? Yeah, they might have a mind on their own. You definitely gonna need to have some toe control with these. Uh, but I thought it was cute. Like, look at the missing, you know what I'm saying? Like, isn't that different? No? Oh. Well, I'm gonna wear the hell out of these. I feel like these are ones, like say if you wanna wear something a little bit more dressier, maybe some slacks with a nice little tie up top with all the colorful prints or something. And then some nice, uh, big juicy gold earrings with a nice gold clutch or a purse or something. And then wear these because we don't always wanna wear heels. I feel like these ran a little bit large as well. And I got these in a size 43. They ain't for everybody, but they damn show for me. Last but not least, I got these beauties here. Bling, bling. Every time I come around, you say that bling, bling. Pink and ring worth about 50. That's exactly what this is giving. Like, it's definitely giving bejeweled. I feel like these look very, very expensive-like. And they can go with multiple outfits. Let's say you budget traveling. You only got a certain amount of room in that suitcase. You need to take something that can go with everything. This is them here. This is the scenario for these ones here. You can wear this for every cute outfit. I can see you with all different color dresses with these in here on. And get you a little colorful purse like this as well. Girl, you in there. The earrings too, girl. I got these in a the size 42. And they kind of ran big to me. Not too big. I mean, they was perfect, but I could feel where it's a little bit more on the bigger end. This little shiny material, and it's very hard. Hard like a rock. Solid. Solid as a rock. I know I'm going to be back.
back on the Shein website looking for other vacation style shoes. But these are the ones that I typically take with me currently. This video went by way quicker than I thought, but that's okay. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to put this emoji down in the comments, girl. That's how I'm gonna know it's real. Before you go, make sure you thumbs up this video. That lets YouTube know that this video needs to be in the YouTube streets for everybody to see, child. For the most part, my Shein shoes typically last for a while. So if you're wondering about the quality, even though they're kind of inexpensive, pretty much getting a bang for your buck. I've never, thank God, knock on wood, somebody knock on some wood for me, been on vacation and my shoe just tell on me if you're new here make sure you subscribe before you go girl because i know you caught them good vibes i want to thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video until next time later